This is my guide on how to unlock the DLC moves and the Super Soul for Topo, God of Destruction. Look at those similarly named moves. They're very similar and they're all destructive. Starting off with Destructive Fracture to give him a boink. And then following up with Destructive Flare, which is Justice Flash. It's Justice Flash, we all know it. You unlock this in Parallel Quest 145, Otherworld Challenger, and you, to get the ultimate finish, then you have to clear with Pycon's health over 10%. What a challenge! Starting off this matchy pose, you're going to be on the Tournament of Power map, rather destroyed, and they're going to be quite aggressive. These um, Parallel Quests, the, the, the enemies are super aggressive, and I'm not sure why. They, they probably woke up on the bad side of the bed today, didn't have their morning coffee, got yelled at by a neighbour, bitten by a dog, but Kaba is one hell of an aggressive sausage, as you can see here. He's got no chill whatsoever. And I've also got to say, I'm rather quite disappointed with these parallel quests. Um, the RNG wasn't too bad, but the quests are really long, and they don't really tell you if you unlock the move or not. There's no real indication. So it, it's kind of um, it's kind of a weird one. Usually there's at least most of the moves have some kind of like a, a notification that you've got a skill or something. I only had that, I think, once in all of these parallel quests. It's kind of weird. Um, I found that because you're going to take on loads of different enemies and you want to do it quickly and keep your teammates um, away from dying, then taking I hope you're reborn as someone good this time is your super soul is a really useful super soul to have because every time you defeat someone your key comes back and it's not going to net you loads of different one-hit KOs all in a row but it will help a lot and it's probably the most useful thing I could probably offer for these parallel quests. Ooh, look at that. Hyper Tornado, what a sausage. What about for a burning shot? Missed it, damn it. The timing was off on that one. Another thing up with these parallel quests, pretty much consistently, is they tend to spam their ultimates quite a lot, and I'm not sure why. They're super not chill. <laughs> they really, they really don't like you in these parallel quests. But something's gonna do a ton of damage, like Flash Chaser over, you know, the amount of key that you use for it, or something like Emperor's Death Beam to just annihilate someone who's going to be good. The new moves you get from Pycon, they're cool. They're really cool. They're all really cool moves in their own way, but they're not going to do a huge amount of damage. Then some enemies will come in. It's Jiren and Topo ready for some sausage. And I found that it's always easier to go after Topo straight away, even if he does um, kind of, you know, <laughs> his ultimate is not amazingly powerful, but it fires really quickly. So if you want to stamina break him, you've got to be really quick. But he's got like five, six bars of stamina, and it's really easy to get that down to nothing and stamina break him. So he's probably the easiest one to defeat, and it's, the, or, it's always going to be easier to defeat one enemy instead of two. And he's probably the easiest to get rid of, so I just out of habit. I always went for him first, and his moves aren't that good. He's quite slow, relatively speaking anyway, and his only move that's any real kind of trouble is his ultimate, and you can easily outrun that unless you're right next to it, which... Maybe you will be, maybe you won't. Who knows? Anything could happen. It's crazy here. So just get rid of Topo, take whoever supports you want. Uh, by the end of these, I found that taking twos and muscles was always good because they res themselves. And just for the amount of time you'll spend on these parallel quests, your teammates will probably go down a fair few times. Look at that spam artist. Oh my god. His favorite sandwich is eggs spam, bacon, egg and spam. And this is not the ultimate finish, and I got the Super Soul, so here it is, the Droppy Poos. I'm inclined to say that it just doesn't tell you if you got the drops or not, or it's just a case that Jiren drops them all, and I always went after Topo first, but I, th I think that's a bit of a weird thing to have in a game where the moves you unlock from the character that you keep defeating first. <laughs> Be a bit weird for the other person to drop their moves, so there's no indication there whatsoever. And this is what makes these kinds of missions pretty difficult to explain because without any notification of where you got the skill, you don't know if you need the ultimate finish or not without having to intentionally not do the ultimate finish and try and get the moves. But then after you manage to clear with the conditions in place, then Goku and Frieza will come in and you have to fight them. Which is, you know, whatever. And Fu's there, but is 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 not strong, whatever. <laughs> it's Fu. He's a sausage, take him out pretty easily. One thing I will say is don't put all of your key and effort into Goku because he will transform when he's about one health bar away from death. So, you know, you don't want to waste all your key or whatever. Look at that sausage! 
Ooh, Flash Chaser cheese. Flash Chaser is like my go-to <laughs> move for every parallel quest. It's just so useful. And that was silly. Oh, what a sausage. That's what limit bursts are for. There, another try, and a miss, and another sausage moment. Oh dear. You also have to fight Pycon as well. And there's Goku transforming to Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. But you know, the 800th time. <laughs> Never seen that before. In these kinds of parallel quests, which it's literally just enemies, enemies, enemies. There's no real strategy to it. Just spam Flash Chaser, spam Emperor's Death Beam. Take a Super Soul that replenishes your key. I wouldn't worry about damaging Super Souls. I mean, the amount of time you're going to save by having one of those is kind of negligible for the amount of time you'll save not charging your key all the time. And there it is, PyCon KO'd with Emperor's Death Beam. Do a happy little spinny dance with the ultimate finish. We've cleared the mission, and did we get anything? I think you can see where this is going. There we are, Destructive Flare. Awesome. Ooh, but now we've got another move to unlock. We didn't get it that time. We're gonna do the ultimate finish again. Oh dear, you can see where this is going. Do the entire thing all over again, but you won't get the skill drop. Just see if you get it or not. <laughs> oh dear, I, these are my least favorite types of missions, purely because it, there's no there's no prediction. You don't wait for a skill drop on a certain character. You just gotta do the whole thing over and over and over and over again. So much fun, so original. But keep going, persevere, grind on. RNG is not your friend, but you will get there in the end. You will be there with the ultimate finish. Basking in your glorious aura, waiting for sweet victory, for that droppy poos to come through on your screen. Yeah, yeah. No and finally, Destructive Fissure fires a little ball of destruction energy at the enemy, which is Topo's signature ultimate move, and lets them do a little dancey dance before they get a boop into oblivion. To unlock this move, you're going to go into Parallel Quest 146, Zeno's Earthly Excursion. Clear it under 15 minutes to get the ultimate finish, and you have to defeat Topo. You get Destructive Fissure, some clothes, tons of artwork for this one. There is a very nice little strategy to this mission that you can do. You charge up all of your key when you start, because you have plenty of time, because there's lots of pointless, annoying dialogue to go through. Transform into a golden sausage, and then run over to the right-hand side of the map, because this is where the Freezer Force army spawning. Take in Gigantic Roar and get ready for a really awesome sausage moment. There's Frost. And there's Freezer and his men. Get ready for ultimate sausage! Oh, oh, let go, you can too. You'll take out one or two if you get lucky, and when these come in, you can try and get those as well. And with your Super Soul, you'll have full key again, so you can just do another. And try and take them out, but you might hit Frost or Freezer, in which case they'll be down to super low health, like they both are. Very nice. Super easy way to start the mission. No real effort whatsoever needs to be put into this. <laughs> they'll group together as well. You can use something like Key Explosion, or you can use Gigantic Roar. You can use anything you want, and with your Super Soul, you've got loads of key at spare to go and give you a lot to boost them into oblivion with your garlic breath. Look at that sausage all on his own. Dead. Destroyed. Unconscious. The portal will open and fly through to your heart's content. Now you're off to fight some Saiyans, who are very spam happy with their ultimates. There's Kaba, there's Trunks, but why is Vegeta not spamming his ultimate? There's Trunks a second time. Oh, he was just waiting, there it is. What a sausage! <laughs> they do not care. They are very aggressive. This is a series of parallel quests with some very aggressive enemies, and I'm not sure if it's particularly fun, really? <laughs> Especially when they just randomly switch enemies and hit you from the back. But anyway, that's none of my business. Moving on with this parallel quest, give them a little smacky smack and a booshy boosh. Take key explosion if you can. If you want to do some little AoE damage, it doesn't do a huge amount, but if there's, you know, if they're all trying to crowd round you at once, then it can uh, it can do some decent damage. Especially if you've got Zamasu and he goes down, you can use that to buy some time for when he revives himself, because he's immortal. Give him a boosh, unless they're in the middle of a grab animation, which would suck, wouldn't it? Yes, <laughs> it would suck very much. 
But don't worry, you've got Flash Chaser, and Flash Chaser is top shelf 10 year aged mature cheese, which you will use to take out every enemy with precision and style, dedication, amazement, and look at that, form, symmetry, sophistication, destruction. Vegeta has been boosted into oblivion, and the portal has opened. Go through to a new area, where there are some more super aggressive Saiyans. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> no chill. You've got two Brolies, you've got Kefler, I think, um, and I think that's it. Yes, all the legendary Super Saiyans, all the fun stuff. They're usually pretty easy, but when they're really aggressive, they're a little bit more difficult, so you might want to hang back and hit them with some Flash Chaser. Top shelf, 10 year aged mature cheese with that nice mold skin on the side. Goes very well with crackers. Oh, look at this, look at this. Want a sausage? Oh, <laughs> hey! <laughs> okay, be uh, relatively careful with your stamina because they do like to randomly spam ultimates at you when you're not even fighting that person. So you might want to take something that will let you get out of the way, or maybe just don't use so much stamina. Oh look at that cheeky little Justice Flesh, give him a boink and a boosh. Yes, he's got booshed. He wasn't expecting that. Look at that top shelf 10 year aged mature cheese. Look at that flash chaser cheese. The greatest move in the game. I love it so much. <laughs> it has helped out in so many different things. Kefler is also one of those characters who's super aggressive for some reason. And uh, be careful when you're trying to um, break the stamina. Because if you're not quick enough then you will get booshed. And you will get boinked. And it won't be fun. Although, I mean, with Broly, he does spam his ultimate, and it's super long, leaves him super vulnerable, so uh, it is really not a threat. It's more Dragon Ball Super Broly and Kefla, because their ultimates are pretty damaging, especially Broly, because it can just one-hit you from anywhere. And look at that, Zamasu. Helping out Zamasu. Gods helping out gods. Very kind, very gracious. Look at that flash chaser cheese, that mature cheddar. <laughs> the portal will open and fly through like a super sausage. You'll go through to the space area and you'll have to fight Whis, Beerus, Vados and Champa. All of them relatively annoying in their own way. Vados likes to fly away and hit you with attacks as you're trying to fly towards her. Whis just hangs back and doesn't do anything. Beerus is aggressive and Champa is aggressive. Uh, 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 oh god. Safe to say, didn't really have much fun playing these parallel quests. I just, just don't enjoy them. They're not, they weren't well put together. They weren't fun. It was literally just defeat enemies next area, defeat enemies next area. There was no, there was no real challenge to be honest with these. Um, there's no notifications of skill drops except for one time when I did see one. But I don't know. It's just completing a parallel quest for the sake of completing a parallel quest at this point and getting the DLC moves, which you might get. <laughs> <laughs> you might not. Who knows? RNG is not your friend. There's Champa, there's the sausage. Get him with some mature, garnished, gourmet, flash chaser cheese. <laughs> and then after you defeat those, wait for Zeno to flap his gums, and then you'll get the ultimate finish portion of the mission where Topo and Jiren will fly in like a big sausage and a bigger sausage. As with the last parallel quest, I'd probably advise go after Topo first. He doesn't have much stamina, it's easy to stamina break him, he's not amazingly fast, and if you leave him alone, <laughs> there's no guarantee he won't spam destructive fissure behind you, and a little tiny ball will just fly up to you and go poof, and then you'll, you'll be uh, in a lot of pain. While Zajiran, he's pretty good at close combat, he's got a lot of stamina, and he's probably best suited to just taking the fodder from your two support characters. So I'd go after I'd go after Topo first. Look at that sausage. Look at him. Look at him. Unaware of the destruction about to come to him, no pun intended. Boosh! Look at a boink. And Jiren is also on low health. And he's about to be on even lower health. <laughs> there we go. Sausaged. And there's some artwork. Aren't you lucky? Be very grateful for the artwork. So there we are, we've cleared the mission. Are we gonna get anything at all? We got some super clothes from Bardock, that's nice. Some artwork. Oh dear, do it again. This is the one time I know of where the character actually gives you a notification of the skill drop, which Topo drops his ultimate, there it is. When you see that glorious sign, do a super happy spinny dons! Skill! Skill! I got the skill! I got the skill! And then take out Jiren with some laser fingers, give him uh, many booshes in the back with a boosh point boosh, and an ultimate finish. 
then when you finish the mission, you can sit back and watch gleefully as that notification sweetly shows you your unlock. That is my instructional video on how to unlock all of Topo's God of Destruction moves in the new Xenoverse DLC 11. Destructive Fission, Destructive Fracture, Destructive Flare and his Super Soul. I've made an unlock guide for PyCon 2, so if you want to see that, go over to the video to see how to unlock his moves. But until then, stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Axonius Rex.